Hi everyone, welcome back to Kimco's Academy. We covered S block elements. Now we will move on to P block elements. So first one, group 13 elements. So in group 13 elements, which are the elements boron, aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium. So boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. So these are P block elements. That means the outermost electron will enter the P shell. So the outermost electron configuration will be S2, 2P1, 3P1, 4P1, 5P1, 6P1. So the last electron will enter the P shell. When we discuss group 1 elements and group 2 elements, there we have seen group 1 elements form univalent compounds and group 2 elements form divalent compounds. So when coming to group 3 elements or group 13, the tendency will be trivalent compounds. So gallium, indium plus 1 oxidation state compounds are less stable than plus 3 oxidation state. But there is an exceptional case. Tallium. Tallium 1 compound that is univalent of tallium is more stable than trivalent compound. That is thallus compound is more stable than tallic compound. So thallus compound is more stable than tallic compound. So gallium indium compounds form trivalent compounds and tallium form Tannium compounds form univalent compounds more stable than plus 3 oxidation state compounds. Now coming to metallic character. So down the group what about the size? The size increases down the group. So metallic character also increases. From boron to aluminium, from boron to aluminium the size increases. So the metallic character increases. So aluminium is more metallic or more electropositive than boron. So size increases, metallic character increases down the group. But from aluminum, from gallium, indium, thallium, the trend is not the same as boron to aluminum or other elements because there is D electrons. D electrons from gallium, indium and thallium. So the shielding, the shielding of D electrons will affect the metallic character of size. So the metallic character decreases down gallium, indium and thallium. Uh, they are not more electropositive compared to other group elements. Now ionization energy. So what is ionization energy? The energy required to remove the outermost electron to form ion. So ionization energy depends upon 1 by size. 1 by size. Smaller the size, greater the ionization energy. Or Smaller the size, greater the ionization energy. So down the group, size increases, ionization energy decreases. So that's the trend. So first ionization energy will be, will be less than second ionization energy, less than third ionization energy. So first ionization energy, ionization energy less than second, less than third ionization energy. So that's the uh, normal trend of ionization energy. Ionization energy is proportional to Proportional to 1 by size. Next point, gallium indium are used for making transistors. So, indium is used for making a PNP transistor and gallium is dropped in transistor to make transistors. And this point is important. GaCl2, gallium chloride. Gallium chloride can be written as Ga plus and GaCl4 minus. So, here the gallium is in plus 1 oxidation state and plus 3 oxidation state. So this is plus 1 and this is plus 3. So gallium chloride, in gallium chloride, gallium can be in plus 1 oxidation state and plus 3 oxidation state also. Now we can see the compounds formed by the group 13 elements, boron, aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium. In S block elements, we discuss the oxides, the superoxide formation, the nitrides, amides, etc. So, in group 13 elements, we will see whether they form oxide, nitride, etc. So, 4 metal plus 3O2 with M2O3. M2O3 is a oxide. So, M means a metal from group 13 elements. So, group 13 element plus oxygen give oxide. 
normal oxide. So, two aluminium plus N two di nitrogen will give a nitride that is two aluminium nitride. So, only aluminium at a high temperature form nitride from group thirteen elements, and this oxide formation is also at high temperature. High temperature is required to form oxide. And two metal plus three F two F two is fluoride, and two M F three a metal fluoride is formed. Uh, in place of fluoride, we use we can use iodine, bromine, chlorine, etc. So trihalides are formed. Trihalides are formed in group thirteen elements. Then. When a metal from group thirteen is reacted with ammonia, we will get amide (MnH2). Amides are also formed. In S block elements, we study the first element in uh, TT. So, like in S block elements, the group thirteen elements, the first element is boron. So, we have to study the compounds formed by boron. So, B2O3, boron sesquium oxide. Sesquium means one and a half. So, the formula will be. M two O three or M O half. So this can be written as M two O three. Boron sesquium oxide is a oxide formed by B two O three. Then it is a non-metallic oxide and has acidic property. And H three B O three. H three B O three is ortho boric acid and it is a weak acid. It is a Lewis acid. So it can be written as B O H plus B O H. So H three BO three is a ortho boric acid, Lewis acid, and B two O three boron sesquium oxide is non metallic oxide and have acidic character. Another boron compound is borax. So borax formula is Na two B four O five O H four times eight H two O O H four times eight H two. So borax is used as a primary standard uh, in type reaction against the acid. So it is used as a primary standard. And another important compound is B two H six borane. So B two H six structure is B H B then H B and two hydrogen each. So B two one two three four five six B two H six. So this is a banana bond, three center, two electron bond. So B two H is borane is important, and we have to study borane in detail. So we will discuss in another video. Then borane, borane is also important. B three N three H six. So it is similar to benzene ring. So it has some chemical properties like benzene. So B three N three H six uh, structure B N B. Then N B N B. So uh, double bond is there in resonance and hydrogen H H H B three N three H six. So there is alternate double bonds uh, between B N bonds. And another boron compound is a reducing agent sodium tetrahydroborane. So NaBH4 is a reducing agent. It reduces the aldehyde group to primary alcohol and ketone group to secondary alcohol. So we already discussed NaBH4, lithium aluminium hydride, etc. in another video, reducing agent video. So NaBH4 is ionic reducing agent. So C double bond C NO2 COOH are not affected. So C double bond C. C O O H and N O two. These groups are not affected by sodium borohydride. N A B H four and it is ionic tetrahydroborane. And not all tetrahydroborane are ionic. There are exceptional cases: beryllium borohydride, aluminium borotetrahydrohydride, tetrahydroborane. Then zirconium B H four. Is covalent. So beryllium, aluminium, and zirconium uh, tetrahydroboranes are covalent in character. They are not ionic. Ionic is only for NaBH4. Another point to note out is when boranes are reacted with HF, 
So H3BO3 is reacted with H hydrogen fluoride. You will get BF3. And what is BF3? It's a gas. When BF3 is introduced to a flame, a green color is formed. Green color. And this green color implies the presence of boron compound. So uh, by this way, we can do the qualitative analysis of boron. So H3BO3 or a borate is introduced to, sorry, is reacted with HF. So you will get BF3 and this BF3 gas is introduced to a flame which will give green color if borate is present. And BF3 is a gas BCL3. BCL3 is a liquid. Liquid. And BI3 is a solid. BI3 is a solid. BF3 gas, BCL3 liquid and BI3 solid. So by this way qualitative analysis of boron compounds are done and the form of the compounds formed by boron or borax, borane, boracine, NABH. Aluminium hydroxide is amphotomic, gallium hydroxide is also amphotomic. Aluminium OH thrice amphoteric, GA2O3 means gallium oxide and GAOH thrice means gallium hydroxide. Both are amphoteric. But tannium oxide and indium oxide are basic. They, uh, the tannium and indium oxides are basic and they don't form hydroxides. So tannium and indium do not form hydroxide. So point to remember is aluminium oxide, aluminium hydroxide is amphoteric, gallium oxide and gallium hydroxide is amphoteric. Tannium oxide and indium oxide are basic, completely basic and they do not form hydroxide. And this reaction TF3 plus 3C2H5MGI. What is C2H5MGI? It is a Grignard reagent. So Grignard reagent, magnesium, iodine and C2H5. So when Grignard reagent is added to a BF3, boron compound, boron trifluoride, then BC2H5 thrice is formed, another alkene is formed. Then aluminium chloride plus 3CS3MGI, this is also a Grignard reagent. So AlCS3 thrice is formed, another alkene which have aluminium is formed. So uh, from this reaction we can conclude that group 30 elements also react with Grignard reagent like S block elements. These are the properties of group 13 elements. In next video we will see group 14 elements.